Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install Adobe Shockwave on your Windows device. They used to be called Macromedia Shockwave before I believe they were acquired by Adobe back in like 2005. So basically it's just a multimedia platform that allows you to build interactive multimedia applications and other video games. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to download it. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up any web browser. It doesn't have to be Firefox that I'm opening up, but if you choose to do so, that's perfectly your right. So heading over to Google here, what I'm going to do is type in Adobe Shockwave and you want to just search that. One of the best matches that comes up should say get.adobe.com forward slash shockwave. You want to open this up by clicking on the link like you would with any other link. So now you want to left click on this download now button in the bottom right. It's about 500 megabytes so just be warned this is a kind of a big download here. So you're just going to left click on that. I don't believe the initial download itself is that big and it's only 5.6 megabytes but the whole program is about 500 megabytes so just make sure you have the disk space for it. So would you like to save the file? I'm going to save it. Now depending on what browser you're using it might look a little bit different but just however you would normally run a download that's how we're going to open this up. If you receive a user account control window from Adobe Shockwave Player 12.2 or any newer version, just at the time of this recording, it's 12.2, you want to click on Yes. So this will begin the Adobe Shockwave Player setup and it will begin initializing the download. So this will take a couple minutes, so just be patient. Um, you do not need to install Norton Security with this. They do bundle it at the time of this recording. So I'm going to uncheck it and then click Next and then we can see it was successfully completed so we can close and if we actually search Shockwave Flash on our start menu so then at this point just to verify it was installed if we head over to programs and features through the control panel we can see that Adobe Shockwave Player has been installed on our machine so this is a pretty straightforward tutorial and I hope I helped you guys out and as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.